North Korea recently outlined its hardline foreign policy. Meanwhile, the newly appointed South Korean ambassador to the U.S. is currently visiting Washington to discuss plans to bolster the alliance by beefing up extended deterrence. The new RK-U.S. combined defense plan will include a stronger response to North Korean nuclear weapons. The Yoon administration's first ambassador to the U.S., Cho Tae-yong, says the North Korean nuclear threat is the most urgent task and the most realistic threat to South Korea. Cho says the ROK-U.S. alliance must be strengthened based on extended deterrence. He added that one of the ways to achieve that is to beef up the two nations' response to Pyongyang's nuclear and missile programs in the combined defense plan. Extended deterrence was mentioned in the statement issued by the leaders of South Korea and the U.S. at their bilateral summit last month. The new combined defense plan to be devised next year will likely include a detailed action plan. Tool says the North appears to be ready to conduct a nuclear test and deploy tactical nuclear weapons soon. The ambassador expressed regret over Pyongyang's hardline foreign policy announced last week at its party's plenary meeting. On Tuesday, the South Korean and U.S. foreign ministers are set to meet for the first time since the Yoon administration took office. They will discuss responses to North Korean nuclear weapons and ways to bolster extended deterrence, including deploying nuclear strategic assets on the Korean peninsula. Seoul's Foreign Minister Park Jin, who is in Washington, is to meet with the U.S. Secretaries of State, Energy and Commerce to discuss economic security and trilateral cooperation among Seoul, Washington and Tokyo.